up, you guys? How are you all today? Oh, let me get that out of the way here. How are you all doing today? It is March 15th, 2020. It has begun to kind of a, kind of a little tiny mixture right now of rain and snow. This, this all started, guys, if I'm being honest, about 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, so I was like getting out of bed and making sure that the room was like totally good, clean, out of respect for the, the gentleman. I, for some reason, I feel like he's the owner. Um, his name's Sonny of the Fireside Lodge. He's, he's, he's just a sweet, sweet, sweet dude. Really nice man. Really nice man. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, just super, super, super cool. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to be headed back and we're going to be switching rooms too. So I'm probably going to be, well, not probably, I'm going to be making a, a, another video because it's a, it's a, it's a different type of room there. We're basically, uh, switching from the suite or from the, uh, like the two bedroom chalet type, type deal that's on its own, uh, as opposed to, uh, one of the rooms in the main part of the hotel. And we're, and, and we're staying in one of the rooms now in the main part of the hotel because, uh, there was someone else checking in today into the room I'm in, but I really wanted to wake up in this room with it snowing outside or at least some sort of weather and we got it. So that's cool. Um, and then, yeah, I think I had enough of that room anyway. I, I dig it for sure, but I'm looking forward to going upstairs to the second floor and doing a, cause we have a view a really good lake view from up there which is fantastic for us I'm excited and uh, yeah it's got a, a jacuzzi inside and everything I've, I've never been in a town that has more hotels that have <laughs> jacuzzis in the rooms this town is crazy like that <coughs> this town is crazy like that alright guys so uh Crazy enough, it's still looking like a decent amount of snow could fall today, you guys. This is, um, I'm blown away how it's, uh, it has stuck now for the past like 12 to 15 hours that we're going to get three to five inches during the daytime today with a late start too. It's 1030 right now. This all started about 10. Um, so, and we're not getting anything right here, but a late start. And uh, we could get three to five inches during the day, and then one to three inches more this evening before midnight. So everything's coming in today. And by the way, that's uh, Bear Mountain, guys. That's where I just skied for my birthday. I miss, I miss working here. And I tell you guys all, all the time. Cool. One thing, I know this is gonna sound bad. Maybe it's just because I, I just got up not too long ago. I'm in a little bit of mood, like I am when I wake up. Um, um, don't, don't let like uh, a lot of times <laughs> the parking crew up here will, will be a uh, kind of uh, mm, difficult to come up with with the uh, with the right words, but uh, yeah just make sure like whenever you're up here you just please please listen to them because they don't at least from my experience that it's not been once twice three times four times I think it's every single time that I've actually been up here uh, I mean they're a lot of them are super bitter like super 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 bitter so just take your patience big time um, like guys like like, how excited would you be to, like, get to work somewhere where it snows? Like, for Pete's sake. Like, because I know a lot of you are in Southern California, just like me. So, I mean, just come up here with your patience, please. And, uh, um, you know, kind of give people the benefit of the doubt. Because we, we honestly never really know what someone's going through when, when they're, you know, stressing it out, seemingly taking it out on us and stuff like that. So, um, 
you know, yeah, we don't like it, but at the same time, it's really important that uh, take into consideration what people could be going through because you just never know. You just never know. And I learned that not the hard way, but in a way that really hurt my heart. Um, um, someone was like just going off on me. And then uh, with my quick wit and whatnot, I, I, I said some, uh, some equally as vile things. Um, and then I found out later what that person was actually going through. And I felt so bad about the things I said because I, you know, I was just, I was just, I was just giving it back the way it was given to me, you know, doing to others as you would have them do unto you. So they were, they were doing unto me how they wanted me to do unto them. So that's exactly what happened. And unfortunately, um, yeah, it was a situation that made me feel like an absolute schmuck afterwards. Um, um, yeah, so just when someone's giving you a rough time and uh, just just try to blow it off and realize in, in, in like 99% of the time, it's got nothing to do with you and that person is just needing some love and support and stuff. So just, yeah. Um, <laughs> But it does get a little bit, you know, a little bit stressful when you're up here already stressed out trying to find your parking and stuff like that. And then you got someone else who's just, uh, um, who's not too welcoming. <laughs> That's just my, my experience, you know. I'm sure it's just because of how I look. That's why I get treated like that because I'm funny looking. So I get treated like a funny looking guy. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, you guys. Another example, um, so I know all of you have seen this a couple times. You're driving down the freeway and there's bumper to bumper traffic and then there's a, hang on, and then there's a, you see a car just jumping in the, on the shoulder and bypassing all the traffic, hauling ass. Everyone stopped and this guy is just Mr. Entitled. Um, this is their world and we're just passing through it. That's that type of, 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 of freaking person. And that's the way I would look at it. I, I would always be like, what a bunch of, you know, I've, I've even been, I've even like called the authority cause I was so upset one time that like I've been waiting two hours to get in, you know, and then this punk is like, but crazy enough, you guys, not too long after the, the last time that happened, after the last time that happened, I found myself doing the same same thing and once again it changed my outlook on so much what ended up happening is my ex-fiance one of them my 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 most recent one um she had a little problem with uh pills and at the time i was living in irvine and she was working out working in uh like like uh kind of close to like Anaheim Hills, like off the, the, the 91 freeway, right where the 55 and the 91 uh, merge together. So she ends up uh, calling me in an absolute panic. She thinks she took too, too many pills. Dude, dude, my, my fiance th thought she, she took too many pills. And so she is contacting me while she's at work and I'm like 30 minutes away and next thing that happens you guys i'm the one on the 55 freeway in bumper to bumper traffic in the shoulder going like 75 80 miles per hour missing freaking mirrors by inches i'm not kidding missing mirrors by inches um and i bet everybody was thinking the same thing what a freaking punk dude let's let's call the cops on that jerk off this and that like uh who the f does he think he is but guys i was rushing because her life was on the line and I showed up and there's an ambulance there. Um, I followed it to the, to the hospital and stuff. And, um, you know, surprisingly her work was supportive. I just couldn't freaking believe it. Like I couldn't freaking believe it, but they were supportive and she had only been there like two months. But so the moral of the story is guys, um, you really never, ever know what other people are going through. And just always be ultra considerate. Just be ultra considerate because, dude, like, as I said, I am not that person who is so disrespectful like like that to, like, go in front of other people or cut in line and stuff. I don't do that because, like, I'm, 
I'm like, I'm a people pleaser and I hate that about myself. I hate that about myself, but ultimately I'd, I'd rather be that than a douchebag. And, uh, cause we have plenty of those, plenty of those. So, and I know I'm not Dr. Phil, you guys. I know I don't have any freaking psychology degree, nothing like that. My dad, as a matter of fact, uh, is, uh, is a very good psychiatrist and, um, did a lot of big things in his career and dealt with a lot of big, big, big names. My dad in, in the 1970s, my mom and dad's house was in the Las Feliz Hills. They had a 10 or 12, 12,000 square foot house in the Las Feliz Hills, right, right next to the Hollywood sign. And my dad and his actor neighbors and stuff would jog up to, uh, to the Hollywood sign like daily. Um, guys like Jack Nicholson, would, would hang out at my dad's house because my older brother and sister went to Marlboro, which is a high school out, out in Los Angeles. And that's where, uh, um, gosh, what's her freaking name? She's my sister's good friend. It's uh, Jack Nicholson's daughter, but also that, that one guy who does the, uh, the commercials for the silver and gold, William Devane, he lived like three houses down from 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 my mom and dad and so they would jog all the time also um and, and this was back prior to me being born and then i was born in my parents beach house which today is worth 12 and a half million dollars on zillow it's crazy that was my parents beach house that my dad bought for like three hundred thousand dollars in the late 70s right right before i was born and back then that was an awful lot of money but it's right on the water and stuff it's it, it's just incredible for me to think like with what I grew up with that, that, that my older sib, all six of my siblings had, a, had a lot more than I did. It's just crazy to think that. Cause I had a lot growing up. I was a spoiled little brat cause my parents grew up with nothing. So they wanted to give me everything just like they give, gave my, uh, all my six siblings, er everything. I would have thought they would have learned, <laughs> you know, with six other derelicts that, uh, um, that you know maybe giving things to someone without making them work for it isn't really the best idea and please don't think I'm giving my parents crap as I said they came from nothing and they want to give me and everyone else all their kids everything that they never had you know long story short my dad would be in orphanages on 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 the weekends in in Chicago where he grew up and then he put himself through, through Northwestern Medical School driving a taxi in Chicago and went to UCLA undergrad and, and uh, he did all that on, on his own. He, he's 89 years old now, but he did all of that on his own and, and just works, works so hard. He's, 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 he's such an idol, and such an idol for me. What a wonderful man. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what my whole point was, but um, <laughs> I think I'll revert back to, uh, it's about giving people the benefit of the doubt, you guys. Always, always, always give people the benefit of the doubt e emotionally because what's it going to hurt you? You know, if, if you take that, that mentality into these situations that could arise, um, then you're not going to be on that real defensive type, uh, crap. Like you're, you're going to want to help and stuff. And, and that's, uh, that's where I eventually got to. I still have some relapses. I certainly do. Um, I'm, I'm not perfect, but I strive to be as perfect as I can towards, towards other human beings, because I know how I want to be treated. And as I said, I'm not perfect, you guys, but it, I know how I want to be treated. Alright. Alright, so yeah, so it is starting to come down a little bit more. Um, it should start to really, really pick up and change to all snow because it, it is still a little bit of a mixture, but it looks like it's transforming into all snow. Like as we speak right now, no joke. What time is, uh, I can't tell what time it is on the, or what time we are at recording, but, uh, yeah. So you guys take care. I will be updating us shortly when it starts to pick up. Love you all. March, uh, shit, shoot. Oh my gosh. I said the SH word. I think it's the 14th. I was just kidding. It's the 15th. I was just making sure you guys are paying attention. <laughs> I love you guys.
Take care and have a great rest of your day. I'll upload this right now.